Hello, boys and girls. All right, we are starting chapter eight. Woohoo! This is chapter eight, lesson one, and it's called Multiples of Unit Fractions. All right, so these are words that you have learned in different lessons. So this should be like amazing, right? Multiples. What are multiples of numbers? So I think, remember, multiple, multiply, right? I start multiplying a number. For example, the multiples of four. If I start to multiply four times one, it's four. Four times two is eight. There we go. Four times three is 12. Multiples, okay? And then, of course, unit fractions. Unit means one, uni, right? You see that prefix? Well, really, it's the whole root of this word. Uni means one, like a unicycle. Or um, what else starts with uni? Universe one. Well, unicycle is probably easier to remember, right? A unicycle has one wheel. So one piece is a unit fraction. One piece out of seven, that's a unit fraction. One um, fifth, that's a unit fraction, okay? So we are talking about multiples of unit fractions. So nine tenths is a multiple of a unit fraction, meaning something times a unit fraction, UF, <laughs> is going to equal nine tenths. Okay, so what does multiplication mean? It means sets of groups of, so let's, I'm gonna start over here with the unit fraction. What unit fraction did nine tenths come from? Well, it has to have one unit, and then the denominator, of course, is the same, tenths. So the unit fraction is one piece of that number. So how many, times do we need that unit fraction to get to nine tenths we need nine of them so let's read this nine tenths is the same as nine sets of one tenth okay all right let's look over here now at three fourths so it's going to be something times the unit fraction again the unit fraction all right so the fraction is three-fourths what's the unit fraction well uni one one-fourth so how many sets of one-fourth do we need to get three-fourths we need three of them so let's read this one Three-fourths is the same as three times one-fourth. Three sets of one-fourth. All right? Awesome. Awesome. All right, so this is the next section. It says, list the next four multiples of the unit fraction. Okay. Well, the next four multiples of the unit fraction. So we're talking pieces. So one fifth. Well, what's the next multiple of one? One times one is one. One times two is two. And then did we change how many pieces make the whole thing? Remember that bottom number. That's all that means. How many pieces makes one? That's the job of that number. Two fifths. So what's one times three? Three. That didn't change. One times four? Four fifths. One times five? Five fifths. Well, that was very pleasant, wasn't it? Yeah, multiples of one, also known as counting. One, two, three, four, five. And then, of course, guys, you know that that is equivalent to one, right? All right, let's keep going.
So this is number 13 down in problem solving. It says, Nicholas buys three-eighths pound of cheese. Mmm, I love cheese. He puts the same amount of cheese on three sandwiches. How much cheese does Nicholas put on each sandwich? Well, let's see here. He has three-eighths pounds of cheese, and he has one, two, three sandwiches. So let's put one out of the eight pounds here, another of the eight pounds on that sandwich, and another of the eight pounds on that sandwich. So we're taking that three eighths, and we're going one eighth on this sandwich, one eighth on that sandwich, one eighth on that sandwich. So how much cheese does Nicholas put on each sandwich? One eighth pound. Okay, does that make sense to you? If you have three eighths pounds and three sandwiches, why don't we give everybody one eighth pound on a sandwich? I wonder, is that a lot of cheese? One eighth pound? Probably. All right, let's keep going. So now we're on the back of the lesson check. Okay, let's read this starting here. Selena walks home. Oops, let me start again. Selena walks from home to school each morning and back home each afternoon. Altogether, she walks two thirds mile each day. How far does Selena live from school? All right, let's see here. I'm going back, of course, right? You know I always go back. Selena walks from home to school each morning. Home to school each morning. And then she walks back home each afternoon, okay? Makes sense. So all together, she walks two thirds mile each day. So all together, meaning that this part of the walk and this part of the walk, all that walking is two thirds miles, okay, or mile. So then they're saying, how far does Selena live from school? Well, let's see here two-thirds. So I'm going to break this into unit fractions, right? One-third plus one-third is two-thirds. So one-third plus one-third, because that's the total, two-thirds. So what does she walk each way or what they're asking is how far does she live from school how far is just one way to school well it's got to be one third because the other way is the other third so selena lives one third mile from school that's very close all right Beautiful job on that fraction stuff, guys. I know you got to get fractions back up there in your brain, right? So we're going to go back to chapter seven on this um, spiral review section. It says, Lee has a piece of rope that is six and two thirds feet long. How do you write six and two thirds as a fraction greater than one? Okay, so look at our choices. Okay, you know what I was looking for, boys and girls? We are dealing with six and two thirds, right? So we need to make that a fraction greater than one. So what I was looking at in the choices are all of the denominators three. Yeah, they are all three. They are all three. Okay, so do you guys remember how to do this? Six and two thirds. That means that we have six whole things. So one, two, three, 
four, five, six whole things, right? That's this part. And we have two thirds of a thing. I'm just going to write that instead of trying to draw it. Okay. In each of these whole things, how many pieces are there? Well, what's that part of a fraction? Its only job is, hey, this is how many pieces are in the whole. That is the denominator. So each of these has three pieces in it. And then, of course, we have these two little bonus pieces over here, right? So we have six, six sets of three. Because when we write a fraction greater than one, this top number is going to be all the pieces, including all the pieces that that whole number makes. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There's three in each group. So we have six groups of three. And what else do we have? Plus, boop, boop, those two little boogers over there. Those two extra pieces from the two thirds. Okay, so check this out. Six sets of three. Six sets of three. And then don't forget these guys plus two more pieces from the two thirds. Six sets of three. That's, of course, 18 plus our two friends there. So let's go back up here. Six sets of three is 18 plus two, 18, 19, 20. We have 20 pieces. And then what's the denominator? Yeah, stays. Stays three. We didn't change how many pieces make the whole thing, right? So six and two thirds written as a fraction greater than one is 20 thirds. Excellent work, guys. This is going to be a great chapter.